Hey, what's going on? Meet Bob. There are many Bobs, but this one is mine. My Bob is my best friend. I get the beating, slapping, kicking, and you know the best part about it? He does not talk back! Welcome to day six. Today we got an outstanding workout scheduled for you. It's called the Dirty 30. Eight exercises, 30, 30 reps per exercise, and we're going for time. So we got 30 bodybuilders, 30 dumbbell flies, 30 uh, step up, single leg step ups per leg. We got 30 circus sit ups. Some people call them Chinese sit ups. I don't care what you call them. Call them Miguel Antonio sit ups. I don't care. 30 decline push ups, 30 jump up box jump ups, 30 plank. Uh, kickouts and 30 bodybuilders. So we're going to start with bodybuilders. I'm going to finish with bodybuilders. So there'll be a total of 60 bodybuilders at the end. AKA, if you don't know what bodybuilders are, that means you haven't been following what I'm doing. See, before the world knew them as burpees, the Marine Corps called them bodybuilders. But you know, the civilian sector had to put a little sizzle to it. So, uh, so if you have a problem with frustration and anger, get you a bob. You can get Bob at Dick's Sporting Goods, online, Amazon, ship it directly to your house. So you can beat the hell out of somebody that won't put you in jail. Anyway, hey, welcome to Faith, Fitness, and Family. Hey, talking about fighting part of faith. You think that has any correlation uh, with each other? Do you think that you have to fight for your faith? I believe so. And I say that because... If you're not willing to fight for it, you're going to lose it. Meaning that people will try to take advantage of you and they will try to uh, take territory from you. But you cannot be passive, turn the other cheek. Look, don't take the scripture out of, uh, you know, the, uh, scripture out of its context. You have to stand your ground and be willing to fight the good fight of faith. You cannot let others discourage you, bring you down, disappoint you. That's part of life. Look, I, I like to say this, uh, the more you get to know me, the more you're going to realize I'm just a regular person and the more I'm going to disappoint you. So to avoid disappointment and to avoid you and I's discombobulation, I'm just going to let you know right from the very beginning, I'm going to disappoint you. I'm not as hard as you think I am, I'm not as fast as you think I am, I'm not as smart as you think I am, but I am who I am. And I'm not willing to share, I'm not afraid to share that with you here on social media. So, going through uh, Proverbs 12 today, one of the things that was talking about is being lazy. And a lazy person is basically someone that is not willing to rise up in the morning and get the job done. The ones that get up and get it done are the ones that are su successful. So, with that being said, I like to tell my kids this, and uh, maybe this will help you. Work hard now, and you get to chill out later. Or if you chill out now, you're going to continuously work hard later. So let me give you an example. In your 20s, you're trying to find your way. You get an education. 30s, you start to get some momentum. In your 40s, if you've applied yourself up to this point, you should have some good foundation and momentum underneath your feet. But here's the cool part. If you don't, it's okay. doesn't matter when you start. It's the most important thing is, is when, if you start. So, if you're a lazy person, you need to pray that away. And you need to go out your way to make sure that you find a way to not be lazy. And if you're... If people can't get along with you and you're really angry, get a bob. There's a bob. There's a bob for each one of you. Anyway, don't be lazy. Work hard now so you get to chill out later. So when you turn in your late 30s, 40s, and 50s, you can actually enjoy leading other people, motivating other people, inspiring other people to do things they normally would not be able to do. All right, so since it's raining, we're going to be in my garage doing today's workout. Dirty 30, eight exercises, 30, 30 reps per exercise before we're moving on to the next one. This one is just focused on time. So hopefully today you enjoy the workout. 
and don't let what you can't do stop you from what you can do. Can't do full range, modify. Can't run, walk. Can't walk, uh, crawl. Find a way to make it happen. Enjoy today's workout. Very first one, 30 bodybuilders, which is gonna get our heart rate screaming out of our chest before we do anything else. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Halfway. 16. 70. 18. 19. 20. 21. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, Dumbbell flies. Thirty single leg step ups.
12, 13, 14, 15, halfway, 16, 17, Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Decline push ups. A total of 30. Eight minutes into it. Remember, don't wait for me. Try to beat my time. So freaking hot. Fifteen per leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 
50. Halfway. Keep going. Don't wait on me. Squat jumps. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, Thirty. All right, we're down to our very last one. Thirty bodybuilders. Yes, it sucks. Yes, I want to quit. Yes, I'm watching you. If you can keep going, keep going. Don't wait on me. I know what a broken leg looks like. And that is not broken. Here we go. I like to stretch. Pop down. Pop it back up. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, 
seven. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Hey, if you beat me, hats off. Congratulations. <sighs> Regardless if you're older, same, or younger, that doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it's you against you. Everyone has different body types, genetic makeups. <sighs> Some have more white. Some more, some have more red tissue muscles. At the end of the day, you can only improve who you are. It's not what I am. It's not what you are. It's your, it's what you are within. See, I used to go to the gym. It's been a long time, but when I used to go to the gym regularly, I used to see pictures like Arnold Schwarzenegger on the wall. People like him, and I'd look at him, and I'd yell, I look just like him! And then I'd say, everyone's looking at me like a, like a crackhead. I look just like him on the inside. I'm just trying to get it on the outside. That's it. We all had the same typical structure as everybody else, arms, legs, hands, feet. If you have those other disabilities that limit you, then we have no excuses. But at the end of the day, we have greatness within. We need people around us, 
family and friends that are gonna really help bring greatness out of each other. So let me give you an example. If you're hanging out with somebody that lives in a trailer park, nothing wrong with a trailer park. I came from a trailer. <clears throat> if you come from a trailer park, you can't consistently hang out with somebody that lives in a trailer park and expect to be a millionaire. It's very, 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 very highly, almost improbable that that will ever happen. You have to put yourself around people that are better than you. Smarter, faster, better. And let them pull you up. If you're the smartest one in your group, you are wrong. You need to go find a new group. Yes, you may be helping the ones that are below you and help bringing them up, which is what leadership does. But your circle of friends also has to be with people pulling you up. It's kind of like a relay race. There's people in front of us that are smarter, faster, and better. And we're running behind them, trying to, trying to catch up to them. So let's talk about family for a second. Man, family. I think my uncle and some other people say it like this. You can't choose your family, but you can choose your friends. But I like to challenge you to choose your family and let family... Let family be your best friends and let friends be the icing on the cake. See, the enemy comes to do three things. Kill, steal, and destroy. Kill people's lives, destroy people's lives, and to steal from each other, wives, kids, aunts, uncles, friends, cousins, boyfriends, girlfriends, husbands, wives. Everybody's stealing from each other and you know, it has to stop somewhere. Somebody has to bridge the, good, the gap between good and evil. Look, we live in a monetary society and th at times monetary things get in our way and they screw us up. I'm not saying you're perfect, I'm perfect, we all screwed up. But what I am saying is when you identify that maybe it does not sit well with you and on your conscience, when, that, when you feel that tug, that's a good indicator that you need to make an adjustment. Make an adjustment with your friends, your family. Don't do that. Whatever it is that's tugging on your heart. Look, at the end of the day, you know you better than anybody else. You know what you do behind closed doors. We're not perfect. But if you surround yourself with a team of family and friends that have the best interests at your hand, then I almost guarantee you that they will help you not fall. And if you do fall and slip off course, they'll be right there to help pick you back up and help you get back in the fight. There's power and partnership. The only reason I'm doing these live videos, no sound effects, look, everything that we do nowadays is filtered. There's a filter for every social media post that you post so you can look amazing. And everyone thinks you have a perfect life and behind closed doors after you post it, you're depressed. You're depressed because when you start to look, you start to compare. When you start to compare, you start to doubt. When you start to doubt, you start to compare. Yes, that's my quote. <clears throat> so I always notice, like, if I look on social media and I'm, you know, I'm having a bad day, looking at social media doesn't help me. It actually makes things worse because now I'm, I'm seeing uh, Ma uh, Mary Jane and... and Freaking snuggle nuts having this amazing life but behind closed doors as soon as they post that they'll be like yeah hey, yeah get away from me yeah, you get away from me too Look, let's just be real let's be unfiltered you know people that people that are watch, watching these videos you're so used to seeing everything that I do edited and sound effects and you know intense look here's here's the basics I'm a husband I'm a father, I'm a son, so on and so forth, and I'm real. I'm honest, I'm hardworking, I try my best to put my best foot forward, I try to do what I say and say what I do, yes, that's my quote. Don't talk about it, be about it, yes, that's my quote. I try to live those things in my life. 
Leadership is hard. L listen to me, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Leadership is hard. It's easy to tell people what to do, but it's hard to do what you say to do. Why is that? It's easy to get on the pulpit and, and preach, live a good life, but then you go behind closed doors and then you have problems. But that's why you need people in your sphere of influence that are going to help make you better. My wife, my kids help make me a better man. And I'm hoping by sharing these small videos with you that I will help make you, I will help provoke you with your faith, with your fitness, with your friends, and with your family. You could be provoked in a good way or bad way. I'm just trying to provoke you in a good way. If you think about everything that we do, it's we're provoked somehow or some way through social media or marketing or TV and advertising. Blah, 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 blah. You know, forget all that. Who are you? Who are you? My name is Michael Nichols. I'm originally from Louisiana. I joined the United States Marine Corps when I was 18, turned 19 in boot camp. I ended up serving 12 years, one month, 13 days in the United States Marine Corps. I didn't do anything special. I just got up off my, my butt and I went and did something with myself. Now that I'm on the other side and as a leader, some leaders want to keep people down, like a bucket of crabs. In Louisiana, we used to go crabbing, put all the buckets in, all the crabs in. One crab tries to get out, all the other crabs are trying to pull it back down. So see, if you see any of these negative posts on any of the social media on things that I'm doing, I want you to hear my heart. I'm motivating and inspired to motivate and inspire you. Don't worry about scoffers. Let them post what they want to post. Let them say what they want to say. If they're so busy focusing on what they're doing, on what you're doing, then they're not focusing on what they need to do. It's easy to sit on the sideline and be Tom Brady. Let me say it like this. Well, everybody else. Sideline quarterback. Yeah, everybody's perfect on the sideline. Get in the game. Start swinging. Let people see your vulnerability. Here's my vulnerability. Here's my limitations. That work out? I did it as fast as I possibly could. And my time was 17 minutes and 46 seconds. I hope you beat that. Because a true leader wants other people to pass them up and be smarter, stronger, faster, and better. I do not want my kids to have to go through the bull crap I had to growing up. But now that I'm up, my job is to bring other people up and to pass me up. Leadership is not by the words that come out of your mouth, but by your actions. Go out and be a leader. And don't talk about it. Be about it. God bless. Simplify. And we'll see you on the next video.